Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 52. In this video, we will discuss the advanced puzzle solving technique called Unique Rectangle Type 5. All the uniqueness puzzle solving techniques are based on the one solution rule. The one solution rule means for a Sudoku to be considered valid, it must have only one solution. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. When looking for Unique Rectangle Type 5, we start by searching each cell, looking for cells having exactly three possible candidates. We found two cells having the exact same three possible candidates. This could be a valid Type 5 pattern. We have confirmed the other two cells making up the rectangle have what we need to have a valid UR type 5 pattern. A unique rectangle type 5 pattern is composed of four cells having the same pairs of candidates along with two or three cells having one additional candidate. In this example the pairs are highlighted in dark green and the two additional candidates are highlighted in purple. Next we define the cells in our kill zone now highlighted in red. Our kill zone is defined by all cells seeing or sharing a house with all the cells having our one additional candidate in our rectangle pattern. For this example, the kill zone is now highlighted in red and the target candidate to kill in our kill zone is highlighted in dark red. Before we remove the target candidate, let's consider the logic for how the unique rectangle type 5 pattern works. Assume the possible 9 candidate is not located in cell 3,4 or cell 6,5 as indicated by being blotted out in black. We now have four sets of naked pairs as shown. We eliminate all the non-possible candidates because of our naked pairs, but now we have a problem. We have no way to determine how to choose which numbers go into the cells making up our rectangle. At this point we must guess our solution. If one of the solutions works, the other solution will work because the numbers have no logical implications in the puzzle. This violates our premise of a Sudoku puzzle having only one unique solution. As with all uniqueness techniques, the reason why we must eliminate a target candidate is we cannot allow the possibility of our puzzle having more than one solution. In this example, we do not know if cell 3,4 or cell 6,5 has a value of 9, but there must be a 9 in one of these two cells. Therefore, there cannot be a 9 located in cell 4,4 or it will create the possibility of a puzzle having more than one solution. Before we remove the target candidate, there is one more check we must make. As with all four cell uniqueness patterns, they must all comply with the 2x2x2 two by two by two rule. The 2x2x2 two by two by two rule says for this to be a valid four cell uniqueness pattern, the four cells must only be in two rows, two columns, and two blocks as shown. As you can see in this example, the 2x2x2 two by two by two rule is satisfied. We remove our target candidate from the puzzle in order to prevent the possibility of a non-uniqueness situation arising in our puzzle. Notice how in this example the 9 in cell 4,6 is not a problem because if this cell did have a value of 9, the cell 4,4 would have to be 9. This next example is slightly different than the previous one. We begin searching. We have found two cells having the same exact three possible candidates. This could be a valid type 5 pattern. We have confirmed the other two cells making up the rectangle have what we need to have a valid UR type 5 pattern. As you can see in this example, we have multiple candidates in our kill zone capable of creating a uniqueness problem in our puzzle. We remove our target candidates in order to prevent the possibility of a non-uniqueness situation occurring in our puzzle. This next example is different than the previous two. We begin with our search in progress. We found two cells having the same exact three possible candidates. This could be a valid type 5 pattern. We continue searching. We found three cells having the same exact three possible candidates. This could be a valid type 5 pattern. We have confirmed the four cells making up the rectangle have what we need to have a valid unique rectangle type 5 pattern. Notice in this example, three of the four cells making up the rectangle have the one additional candidate highlighted in purple. 
This time, the kill zone is defined by cells seeing all three cells having the additional candidate highlighted in purple. In this example, the target candidate is the 7 candidate in cell 4, 3 highlighted in dark red. If cell 4, 3 has a value of 7, it will create a uniqueness problem in our puzzle. Before we remove the target candidate, we visually validate the 2 by 2 by 2 rule. We can see the four cells making up our rectangle occur in only two rows, two columns, and only two blocks. We remove our target candidate in order to prevent the possibility of a non-uniqueness situation occurring in our puzzle. Time to test what you have learned. Before we begin, please remember to take some time to support the Exodoku. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 5 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify the kill zone and target candidates to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 5 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify the kill zone and target candidates to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 5 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify the kill zone and target candidates to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 5 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify the kill zone and target candidates to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 5 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify the kill zone and target candidates to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 5 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify the kill zone and target candidates to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 5 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify the kill zone and target candidates to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 5 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify the kill zone and target candidates to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 5 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify the kill zone and target candidates to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 5 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify the kill zone and target candidates to be removed. Here is the solution. This completes the Exodoku training video number 52. Please support the Exodoku. Thank you for watching.